is beginning a part of a scene making the basic food stall and all these shapes just extruded. If you want to see how to achieve all this, take a look at these two short videos, one in Maya, one in Blender, showing you how to extrude. Then you could watch the speed level build of part of the scene and then jump right back to this video, then take this concept and render it out. I'm going to create a polygon cube. And I roll over this because you could click this icon to be safe, create polygon primitives cube. Right click, go to face level, select this face. I need more building material in order to create a vase. Right now, I only have six sides. I need more than that. I'll select the move tool and hold down the shift key and drag upward. That gives me more sides. We're extruding out a face. You extrude edges and faces, so extruding on faces. Let me shape this, but wait, who cares about this shape? I want to see vase. Well, three key. Remember, one, two, and three. One is the actual object. Two is a preview of the actual object as a cage with the nice rounded subdivision surface looking object within it. But it's actually just a smooth object. And three is not seeing the cage. So as an artist, you might like three, but two is a good way to understand the structure. So three. I'm going to push this down a little bit. Go into the vertex level, right click vertex, selecting those vertices. Maybe I'll move them down and I'll scale them up. This. That's the beginning of my vase. Right click, I'm going to select this face on top, which is really just that face. I'm pressing the one key, three key again. Move tool, W key, move tool. Yank it upward. Now we got a pair. Excellent. Not a vase yet. Maybe I want to, to scale this a little more inward. Move tool, which is W key. Hold down the shift key to extrude. Shift and drag extrudes. Scale that up. Or select the W key again for move. Hold down the shift key and push inward. We did create an inward extrusion, but this face isn't looking happy. And that's because the inside face is pushing out inside out. The outside face to correct this, just scale this face in. Scale it smaller. Now I'm going to move up the substance a little bit. And now it looks correct. Hold down the shift key and push in a little bit more. Create more of a lip going down inside. At any time, you could go to the vertex level and select a bunch of vertices. I did that by dragging a marquee selection around it. Let's scale it like this. Make variations on your vase. For a comparison of this concept of taking a cube and making it look round, let's take a look at the technique in Blender. And I'm showing this so you could do a comparison between whatever 3D application. It's not necessarily the tool that you're looking at, it's the concept. And the concept is you want this cube to look round. Starting with Polygon Cube, I'm going to jump to the edit mode, going to the sub-object of face, selecting this top face, pressing the E key for extruding. The shortcut might be different in other applications, but the concept is you start with a cube, you extrude a face, you scale it down, you extrude again, and you start to grow your material, in this case, into a vase. I'm going to extrude this downward. E key again, same concept, to create inward space. Scaling that inward space, smaller. I'll go to the bottom. Select the bottom, E key for extruding, scale it a little bit. And now we have this very square looking vase. Going back to the object mode to make this look round, I'm going to apply a modifier. Add modifier. And this modifier will be subdivision surface. I'll make the subdivision surface just for the preview in the viewport look a little more smoother. I'll then right click and select Shade Smooth so it looks nice and shaded. 